<clears throat> so we're going to do one more example so we can see how we're going to take our problem and then at the end we're going to have to show our our quotient yes so in this problem everyone write it down please we're going to have one and seventy six hundreds times eight yes so oh, i'm sorry divided it one and seventy six hundreds divided by eight thank you thank you okay so step number one all right what type of a teacher are you you don't know what you're doing right yes i know but that's why i have really smart students so one and seventy six hundred yes please have pity on me so let's have mercy on so the first thing that i do i set up my problem and yes. you put the decimal where is it yeah i set up my problem step number two i set up my tv oh mr b with your tv table okay so why are we doing this we're doing this to keep ourselves organized the reason why we have this table set up Now, another thing that I wanted to clarify too, <clears throat> just so everybody knows where this comes from, this is not, thank you, this is not me saying this is my strategy, no. This was taught to me when I was going through remedial classes actually, <laughs> when I was at, at university, so, uh, or while, while I was at the university, actually not at university, when I was in community college, a little bit of insight into me, yes? Um, so this is not my strategy. This is what they use to be able to uh, help students that are struggling because I was struggling because I had been away from school for so long. So this is what really helped me. I'm not a very organized person. So this kind of helped me stay organized. So uh, for those of you guys that, are, that think that it's too much, if you could keep it organized or keep it organized in a different way, by all means, this is just a guide. Yes? I just wanted to say that Okay. We're not there yet. So, uh, people want to start jumping. Hold on. We're not there yet. So, some of you guys already finished. Fantastic. So, this is for the sake of the people that just are not getting it or maybe are not asking questions right now. Yes. So, could I divide eight by uh, one by eight? I can. But before I do that, somebody pointed out. Somebody pointed out. Somebody pointed out. That we need to move our decimal place up here. So, we want to make sure to do that at the very beginning. Especially if we're dividing a decimal by a whole number. This is always going to be a good first step. Now, what I, back to what I was saying, one cannot be divided by eight, so we're always going to put a zero, and we're going to put a zero above the number that we're trying to divide. In that case, that would be the one. Yes? Eight times zero, zero. We subtract, that would be one. We compare, not bigger than my divisor, so we're good. This is 17, yes? Now, for those of you guys that are wondering, Mr. B, why are you breaking it down? Just like how people struggle with reading and writing and things like that, people struggle with math. So we're just breaking it down. Yes, we're trying to be fair to everybody. Can we stop moving the desk, please? Sorry, I just had to sit back. So, we're going to divide. 17 can be divided by 8. How many times? If I look at my TV table, 1 would be 8. 2 would be 16. 3 would be 24. That's too much. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with 2. Next thing that I do, I compare, good, right? I bring down my next number, six, and guess what? 0 0.22 minus 16 equals zero. Let me move out of the way because some people can't see it. Let me move out of the way. 22, yes. 2200, the remainder zero. It's now, so, so I got the TV and did we check our So, now. There's still a couple of things that we have to do for today. 
first of all, we still have to check our answer. Let's do that very quickly. I'm going to multiply 8 times 22. Now we're multiplying this week. Yes, now we're multiplying. All righty. So we follow the same steps. Count how many decimal places I have first. Two. I have two. I take away any leading or ending zeros that don't have value. And I multiply what I have left over. It would be 22 times 8. It's just from the book. This is from the book. They're asking if I if I made up this. No, this is actually I didn't make this up this time. But it would work anytime. So my last step. Guys, please. This happens from time to time. Guys, please. How how I said. And like that, everyone at home could hear too. If you're not going to write this down, I see some people not writing, that's okay, but don't interrupt the people. Well, actually, it's not okay, but I mean, what can I do? I'm not gonna make them write, right? So, I get it, but just don't interrupt the people that are around you because there are some people that want to write. So, I'm wondering why there's some people not writing though. I see one, two, three, are you writing? Okay, so one, two, okay. I'll, I'll take a look at it here in just a second. So, what we have to do though, we still have to add our decimal back. So one, two, and there's our decimal, yes? So my answer is correct, yes? Yep. Well, Mr. B, you're a genius. No, it's just, this is what they taught me, and so I just wanna make sure that we're giving that back, yes? This is a strategy. It works pretty much every single time with any, any problem. So now, our last thing that we're doing today is we have to show this pictorial model and how it would look like because we have to I'm sorry I'm just waiting for somebody to sit down and stop talking so so we have to show our pictorial model yes and we have to show eight groups of 22 hundreds yes we're going to use and this is an easy one you can do it however you want but this is an easy way of showing it because it's a very common way. That square would be equal to one whole. One little stick would be equal to one tenth. And either a little square or a dot would be equal to one hundred. And I'll say that making noises is the same thing as talking. Would you guys agree? Yes. 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 So. Going back to what I was saying, eight groups of 2200s, let's show that real quick. I, I said talking, I didn't say noises. So, let's show that. I'm going to need two of these and two of these. Why? Two in the tenths place, two in the hundreds place. And I'm gonna, it's gonna take a little bit because I do have eight groups. So, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's make these a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna make little dots. Like this? Like this? Now, how many groups do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other thing that you're gonna see. I'm sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit. These guys know already. We, we just have to make sure, yes, I am, I am getting over a little bit of a flu. So, let's make sure that we're also putting together our groups, yes? And you guys can go back and hear the comments. I mean, this is like every day. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you have to show those groups, that grouping. Now, you could also do it with squares if you like. No big deal. I just decided to do it in little circles, right? This is the way we're actually going to see it in some cases in the start. So just good exposure, right? Now, in some cases, you have to take the 1 in 7600s and break it up into eight groups. We're, gonna, we're actually doing the opposite. We're getting 
we're getting the answer and then showing the grouping. I think that's a little bit easier. The other teachers uh, actually suggested that to me. I, I have to agree with them. This is a lot easier than taking it and actually breaking it down eight times and showing that eight and 2200. That's a little bit hard to do. So anyways, this is what we're doing this afternoon. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to post them. Thank you guys.